Hey friends, Brenda Paulson here with My Pastor's Wife Designs. Sorry I'm a little late tonight. I hate making excuses, but I was actually at a networking meeting um, and I had a 20 minute drive that I needed to complete to get home and so I was just a little later getting home than I had anticipated. But um, we're here now, so I want to get started. I want to thank you first of all for joining me. I want to make sure I'm on, so I'm just checking my uh, computer, my iPad here really quick because I want to always make sure that we're up and running as I'm talking. And of course, I've got ice cold hands. It's, I think on the way home it said it was nine degrees. Yep, it looks like we're running. Yay. Okay, so tonight I was trying to decide what I wanted to teach you. And I thought it would be really fun to show you how to make a really simple card, even if you don't have any stamps at all. So I want to use what we call our creative memories. Um, memories and more packs. And I don't think they're creative memories. I think I just made that up. They're memories and more. I just made stuff up. It's fine. And in our mini catalog, actually, we've got these Capture the Moment. And I'll bet you're going, I don't even know what to do with these. I don't scrapbook. I don't want to do that. Guess what? That's okay. You don't have to. You're going to make cards with these. So mine just showed up in the mail today. I have another partial kit, but I wanted to show you a full kit or two kits. So we have two things here. We have um, the, let's see what they're calling this, the Enjoy the Adventure Memories and More card pack. There are 50 total double-sided cards. Uh, there are three by four and four by six inch in sizes, four sticker sheets. And then we have the Enjoy the Adventure Memories and More cards and envelopes. And there are 20 cards and envelopes that coordinate with these. So, I'm going to just grab a couple basic things that I want to have on hand. I'm going to have my snips and then maybe a bigger pair of scissors, some adhesive, and some pop-ups. Uh, they're actually called Stampin' Dimensionals. I call them pop-ups. So, really, um, we're going to go ahead and just open this card pack up. I'm going to just kind of run that down the side and we're going to set the set these aside but first I want to show you what's in them I want to see what's in them I'm excited because I don't even know I mean I kind of know but I don't know no so this is awesome because and eh, we'll just throw that away um Here's all your envelopes, and they're already pre-decorated, -de which is so nice, in my opinion, to already have a, a pretty decorated envelope. I think that makes it really nice. I want to want to see if I if I see comments, I will try to answer. But you know how how it is here in my land of my land of nod, or why is it well? If I see comments, I will try really hard to answer. If not, I'll answer later. Okay, so again, pre-printed envelopes. And these are a really nice size. They're like four, well, I'll just tell you what they are. Six and a half by four and a half. So really nice size. And then let's look at the cards. And I say, oh, and I'm gonna tell you, I saved my chipboard because there's always projects like message boards or just all kinds of th stuff I can use these for. And so I hate to just toss them aside. And now let's look at the cards. Let's check out these card fronts. So pretty. Looks like we've got some, I'm going to say, oh, I don't know, but let's say balmy. Let's read. Let's not just pretend that we know. Um, balmy blue and mint macaron, I believe, is what these, these ones are going to be. And there's going to be 10 of those, it looks like. And then we have... Oh, one of my very favorite colors, Mango Melody, and then it looks like some petal pink down here, which our petal pink tends to be a little more peachy if you wanna, if you want my honest opinion. And so we've got these two options. So we're gonna make a card using one of these options tonight. I'm not sure which yet because I need to open this card pack. So I'm gonna get my trusty little snips out again. Let's get this opened up and see what's in here. Now these are a really nice size that you can actually use on our, um, well, my cold fingers don't want to work, <laughs> um, that we could actually use on our smaller um, cards as well that come in our blank 
our blank pack, blank card packs, um, which would be really nice. Um, in fact, I just spoke with someone tonight that wants them for her floral shop for bouquets. So here we've got an I, I can't thank you enough. And we get two of them, but that's nice because then we have the back side that you could do something different and then again celebrate and I always flip it over so I have one of each thank you which I love that we can make a thank you card and then oh how cute is that the the talk balloon uh, you are my sunshine and then that back side of that is really fun I love the kind of geometric kind of design hello there and the back of that is kind of a notebook. I like that with the notebook and the um, colors. Thinking of you. I always like thinking of you cards. And then that floral. Okay, I'm loving that. So that's going to get set aside because I think we might want to use that. You make my heart happy. Oh, and polka dots. I gotta love the polka dots. And then we have our four sticker sheets here. So we have some that says happy for you, some banners, some... Um, florals uh, happy birthday just want to say hi congratulations two sheets of those and then these day these are happy days best time this dog so cute so glad that we're friends so sweet super cute all right so we have those options and then we have the small card pack and I like to do some layering because I love lots of layers on my cards you don't have to do that but I'm I enjoy that again we're not going to be stamping tonight I just want to show you how simple these it is to make a handmade card with the memories and more card packs. Again, we're going to have two, I believe, uh, two each. So we've got that design, this, love this life, and then this fun geometric with the mango. And wishing you the best this world has to offer. Now, I would even probably maybe cut this apart, do some layering with that. Maybe I'll set that apart just in case. And then, um, oh, super cute here. So there's this side of this one. And then we have lucky to have a friend like you. I love that. Um, just a notebooky kind of thing if you did want to do pocket scrapbooking. But it can also be just used for... Um, to do like maybe a handwritten note on on a card and then oh thank you so much love that okay so there's those two and then kind of a little fun grid a little wavy grid which is kind of fun and then the other side of that says so grateful with some stripes that's really fun too I'm gonna set that aside too just because I might use that and then there's um, another word balloon and the back of that is yay I love a congratulation one so it's how fun is that? And then some small polka dots in a grid system. And then enjoy the adventure. That would be great for a wedding card. Um, so we have that. And then here's one that's like the bigger one that we pulled aside. You're so sweet. I'm going to set that aside too because we might use that. We're getting a plan together. Um, yeah. And thinking of you. More dots word balloon and oh fun the best part and then this cute little one and it has a little heart with a little tab at the top and you're the best all right another kind of notebooky look and this kind of fun side with a little kind of textures to it and then some brick that's really fun. I love these colors. They're so cheerful and fun. And then that. And then some word balloons. You could actually put different words in there, stamp in there, write in there. That would be really fun to do. And then the back side of that. How fun is that? And then thrilled for you. What a great congratulations. That would be good for graduation or just, hey, you did a great job. You know, just an encouragement. We all need those. Another fun word balloon one. And then, oh, <laughs> that's super fun with the hearts. And some with spots and the splash of color at the bottom. And let's see what the back of this one is. Wow, how fun is that? And then um, more notebooky looking stuff. 
and then those stripes. So we have lots of options here. So I'm going to set these aside, and I really think I want to go... Okay, so I'm going to set all this aside that I don't want. I don't want to use the blue right now because I really want to use the melon because I'm needing some cheer, some cheerful stuff. And I only need one card. So we're going to get this card base here. And then we kind of want to take a look at it and decide what we want to do. I'm going to have mine go uh, portrait instead of vertical. And then you can even just lay this on here just like this. You could cut it down. I realize it does take um, a lot away from this card front. You don't have to do that. You could use that smaller piece. You could just layer it like that if you wanted. And I love that there's like just some little stuff going on down here. You're so sweet, so grateful. I really think I wanna, I wanna use this one. Yep, I'm gonna use that one. So, we've got that, and then I could do several things. I'm trying to decide if I want to cut this down, if I want to layer it, because I could actually cut it down and make a layer. And then we would have, like I said, there you go. There is a card. You could make that a card. Hey, Judy, how are you tonight? I am... Um, trying to get warm. Anyway, so there you go. You could actually, there is a really pretty card that you just made, but I want to maybe step it up a little bit. So I think is what I'm going to do is I want to trim this. And I did bring out some scissors, but I'd probably be better off to use my trimmer. So is what I want to do is I want to decide about where I want that. You know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to make this super easy. That's cute, too, with the thinking of you. Sometimes that's the hard part, but where you get two... Okay, cold. What is cold for you? I'm just super curious, Judy. What's cold for you? Because when I came home tonight from my network meeting, cold for me is nine. Nine degrees. Yep. And do you say, I just put some glue on that. You can use your favorite adhesive. Some people like to use um, their... Stamp and seal. Some people have tape runners. Some people use whatever they want. I tend to use glue because I like, if I need to move it around a little bit, I can. And that's what was on my table, to be really honest with you. All right. Now, because I want to do just a little bit more on this card, um, I'm going to look at my stickers, my sticker choices here. And, oh gosh, we have options. You're so sweet. Just wanted to say hi. I think I'm going to use the butterfly. And we're just going to actually just put it right here on this card piece right here, right? That's a lot of snow, Judy. Where do you live that you got 10 inches of snow? We got about eight yesterday. That's cold. Yep. I didn't think you lived somewhere cold. I don't know why I thought that. Okay, now here is my card front. And we may go ahead and make a blue one since I am zipping through here. I gotta look at my time, but what do we got? Oh, we got oodles of time. Oh, okay. Yeah, you guys do get the nasty weather too. I don't know why I thought you lived somewhere nice and cozy. I go through Lincoln a lot though when I go visit Connie, so I may have to catch up with you on my next trip through. All right, so I want to use some Stampin' Dimensionals on this, and I've got those over here. So excuse my arm in the camera. I'm just going to flip this over, and I'm going to put them on both corners, or actually both corners, all four corners. And I'm going to put one in the middle because I hate saggy middles. Nobody wants a saggy middle, right? And I'm going to just flip this over. And then I'm going to wait and stamp the inside later to put my sentiment in because I don't know what I want to use this card for. You just never know for sure what I, I may decide to do. Now. Okay, there we go. And that card is done. And I'm, I will find my bone folder here in a moment because I cleaned my desk. So everything's put away. So there you go. Card one. Let's go ahead and make one using the blue. We might as well because we've got it. Of course, I made a pile. 
So I'm going to grab a blue card here. And I think I really liked this particular piece. And I really like this dog. So what I'm going to do is just kind of get this lined up here. And what do I want to do? All right, I know what I'm going to do. I got a plan here. So I'm going to glue this down because I have a plan. You, if you don't have a plan and you're not sure how you want to lay it out, lay it out and try different things. But every now and then I have a plan that just comes together for me. And I'm going to flip this over and I, I want to kind of center this one again as well. I got an order actually tonight from a gal at my networking meeting. She owns a flower shop. She wants a pack of 20 cards. Guess what she's getting? These. So, and I just got a little bit of schmooch on there, a little bit of glue. So I'm going to get my handy dandy adhesive remover. You can pick these up at most dollar stores. Um, they're just an adhesive remover and they last forever. And they just take that glue right off. So I'm going to use this dog. And I'm going to just set this little guy right there. And then I want to use this one. And I'm just going to put that right up there. And I think, just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to move this. Because it's going to be the same width. So I kind of want to make sure. And I'm not going to adhere it down until I'm, I know that it's kind of lined up. Because I don't want to try to get it back off. There we go. And there is card two. And I've been on here with you approximately, I don't even know, 15 minutes, maybe. And we've made two cards. And they are ready to go. And now, if I want to add a little more, I have embellishments, of course. I mean, you got to have some bling. They don't come with these packs. But um, I certainly recommend having a few embellishments on hand because, well, how much fun is that? And a pack of embellishments really isn't that much to add to your order. And I want to get some black. And my embellishment box here is a little full. It's a little full. But that's okay. Um, we'll find what we need here in a moment. So I'm going to use those. Because there's black in there and I could get to it. And I'm going to use just the black ones. And I'm going to do it on both cards, because I can. You can do whatever you want, but I think I'm going to just use some little ones, and I'm going to have to use my snips tonight, because, well, that's what I have handy. And I think, now I just want to see where I want to put these. I'm just going to stick it up here in the corner. And I always like to do an odd amount, because I've got one, two things on this so I guess I have three but not on like this card face and, and I'm just gonna put a I have an escape <laughs> I still have an escape oh good it didn't stick down and still oh my goodness all right and I just think that adds just a little bit you could even put them down in the corners or wherever you want. But just that little bit, keep in mind that might require an extra ounce of postage because it's got a bump in it. I don't mind because I can still send it cheaper than I can mail it. This one, you know what, I think I actually want to do a different, um, I want to do a, a different embellishment. And I think I'm going to use our champagne rhinestones on that one. And I happen to have a pack, partial pack right there. Again, you don't have to do this. You can just buy the um, Memories and More card pack and the Memories and More envelopes and make your cards and not even worry about adding any extra. But if you want to add extra, you certainly can. And you can do, gosh, um, ribbon or embellishments or nothing at all. It's just fine. So I'm going to actually put that in the center of my flower. 
and this one I should have got my take your pick tool this one I'm gonna do three just well because I can just to give it a little little bling there we go and that my friends is how fast you can make two handmade carts using just the memories and more pack or add a few um, a few embellishments and they're good to go and um, I would love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Again, my name is Brenda Paulson with My Pastor's Wife Designs. And um, I hope you have a really good evening. I hope it's warm. And um, again, thank you so much for joining me. I will talk to you again really soon. Bye-bye.